morning. My name is Miranda. This is for particularly for people who've got very tight hamstrings. What I would love you to have is a ball, a tennis ball that we can use in a while. So you might want to press pause while you go and grab a tennis ball. But what I want to show you first of all is a mistake that lots of people with very tight hamstrings make when they try and fall, fall forwards, which ends up giving them a bad back. So if you watch me as I come forwards, if I'm imagining I've got very tight hamstrings, lots of people fold like this. And they're not actually folding from the hip socket, they're rounding their back, they're folding from the waist here. So the more they try and touch the floor, the more they're actually going to strain their back. They're going to pull all these muscles here. So they're making a mistake that they're actually not folding from the hip joint, which is here. So the back should be straight as you fold forwards. This is our hinge joint. And it's very easy to lose awareness of that joint, particularly when people stand with their feet out and buttocks clenched, which is particularly a male stance. So if you know you have that tendency, then this is for you to practice folding from the hip socket. First of all, we're going to use a tennis ball just to release the fascia in the foot, in the muscles in the foot. So if you grab a ball and roll it underneath one foot and roll it around all over the foot, really pressing as hard as you feel you can. And it actually re relaxes all the muscles in our body when we massage our feet. So it's a lovely thing to do when we have tension in our feet, it goes all the way up the body, but it particularly relaxes up the back of the body, the calves, the hamstrings, the buttocks, the back. It's giving that foot a really good massage. Getting into all tight spots and observing where it feels a bit tight. And then change sides. Do the other foot. And again, give that foot a really good massage, pressing as hard as you feel you can. Observing the tight spots and the tender spots too. Sometimes when people do this, the ball spins out away, so that might happen. And then just move the ball off to one side. And we need to work the muscle on the front of the hip too, because when we fold from the hip socket, that muscle should shorten and take us there, and our buttocks need to let go, the glutes. So we're going to work this muscle and, and stretch the muscle in the glutes. So if you stand with your hands on your hips, or you can, if you're not very good at balance, you can use a chair in front of you, but bring left knee up and down. We do it on an exhale, exhaling up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. You'll feel the other leg working quite hard to keep yourself balanced, less so if you're using a chair. And you may feel that muscle working. It gets very short and tight when you do lots of sitting. So it's good to strengthen it as well. The next time you bring it up, keep it up and draw it in close, as close as you feel you can. Now you might feel here you need the chair for a bit of balance. So if you feel you need the chair, grab it. But otherwise, drawing it in close towards you and breathing deeply, stretching out the buttock. Because if we grip with our buttocks, as I showed before, it's impossible to fold forwards from the hip socket and it sends that movement into the waist. 
take the foot down and then we'll do the other leg so again inhale exhale bring the knee up inhale lower exhale up again use the chair you feel you need to And again, see if you can feel that muscle working. It's great when we can become aware of our muscles and just being aware that this is the muscle that should shorten when we fall forwards. And again, the next time you bring the knee up, draw it in. Again, hugging it in towards you, using the chair if you need to for balance. And again, breathing deeply. And bring that foot back down and shake the legs out. And then we're just going to move the ankle a bit more because that also has a big effect on us. So one at, at foot, point and flex that foot, point and flex, and the other, bring movement to the ankle, if we're very tight here that's going to have an effect and stop us from folding forwards too. And then come with your hands on the back of the chair and we're going to warm up the hamstrings so if there's a little way that you prefer to warm up your hamstring, feel free to, but this is a very simple way. So just standing on both feet, inhale, exhale, attempt to drag one foot back and relax. Exhale the other one, attempt to drag it back, but press down into the floor so it doesn't move. Inhale, relax. Again, exhale, press down into the floor and attempt to drag a leg back. Inhale, relax and the other and relax and keep going so not much happens you may not see any movement in my body as I do this but you're pressing down into the floor and attempting to drag a leg back and you should feel an engagement in the back of your thighs so just warming up those hamstrings just a few more times and again, it's good to get a sense of our muscles to understand what they're doing when they're working. And come away from the chair. And then we're going to practice that fold forwards from the hips. So if you bring your fingers into the crease of your hips, so rather than being up on your hip bones, it's down where your thigh bone joins your pelvis. So bring your fingers absolutely into that crease and bend your legs and tip yourself forwards with the back straight, legs bent, back straight. Really focus on keeping your back straight. Dig your fingers into that crease too and stick your bottom out. Maybe tip further forwards. <clears throat> and then just be aware of where you are getting that stretch and when you're getting that stretch. So keeping your back straight, inhale, exhale, see if you can straighten your legs a little bit more, inhale, bend, exhale, see if you can straighten those legs a little bit more, inhale, bend. Now you might need to be higher, you might find actually you need to use a chair in front of you and your angle is much less, so you might be here. The most important thing is to keep your back straight. So wherever you are, straight back, folding at the hip socket. I actually have a video of hamstring stretches lying down on the floor and I would highly, highly recommend you do this because it's the best place to stretch our hamstrings when you're lying on the floor and your back is safe because it's very easy to strain your back if you're not used to knowing how to stretch the hamstrings without straining the back without rounding the back 
and then bend your legs to come out of it and shake your legs out. And one more nice stretch for the hamstrings. It could also be great for our posture. You take your hands behind your back, clasp your hands together, take your hands down, lift your breastbone, raise your arms up, inhale, exhale, bend your legs, chest down to your thighs. So bend your legs as much as you need to. Make sure your feet are pointing forwards. Make sure your feet are not pointing out and then straighten your legs just as much as they straighten. Bend your legs again, inhale. Exhale, straighten your legs just as much as they straighten. Bend your legs again. Exhale, straighten your legs just as much as they straighten. And bend, hands back on your bottom and come back up. So just make sure too that when you are stretching your hamstrings or when you're trying to fold forwards that your feet are pointing forwards because if your feet are pointing out when you try and fold forwards your bottom muscles are actually engaged much more you won't be able to fold forwards okay so just make sure feet are pointing forwards let go of your bottom muscles try and release them fold from that hip socket not from the waist and you will really help your back Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Om Shanti. Bye.